I'm Jeff Bickford. I'm a firearms instructor with the Armed Defense Training Association, a nonprofit gun club located near Seattle, Washington. We started working on our beginner's training curriculum in 2015. There are two parts to this curriculum. One, training the beginners, which you'll see here. Two, is training the trainers. We have a program called the Mentor Academy, where our trainers practice following lesson plans and presenting in front of students. What you're going to see in this video is how we train the beginners. This provides an overview on how our beginners workshops are organized. The idea is to show how our instructors and mentors interact with the students as they learn the basics of defensive handgun shooting. The beginner workshop is a dry fire and does not need access to a shooting range. We've held these workshops in this condo clubhouse as well as churches, our local senior center, and other meeting halls. The workshop is divided into six segments. Each segment follows the EDGE training methodology. That's explain, demonstrate, guide, and enable. So first explain what the objective of the segment is, then demonstrate by watching one of our training videos, and the instructors demonstrate that to the students with Q&A, then we guide them through the drill, and then enable them to do it on their own. At the start of the event, all guns are cleared by a range safety officer who then ties a ribbon onto the trigger guard. You'll see the ribbons and the guns in the video. No live ammunition is allowed anywhere inside the event. You'll see as I'm instructing that I have a binder open with notes in it. This is a set of lesson plans for the workshop. We've learned the value of lessons plans from one of our board members who is homeschooling our children. Lesson plans helps us maintain a level of professionalism in our training events. In the first four segments, we use actual guns for demonstration. In the last two segments that involve drawing from the holster, we use CERT laser training pistols. CERT pistols eliminate a lot of the complexity from the training. Plus, they let trainees see what they're hitting in the hands-on segments, we alternate between two shooting lines. This allows the students to practice without getting too close to each other. In segment one, we start by playing a training video, the four basic rules of gun safety. Then we have a classroom discussion where we discuss the safety rules and how to stay safe around others who are acting in an unsafe manner. In segment two, we start by playing the training video, How a Handgun Works. Then we have the classroom discussion where we name the parts of the gun and discuss the trade-offs between semi-auto pistols and double action revolvers. In segment three, we also start by playing two training videos. The first is how to unload a handgun and make it safe to handle. And then we watch how to load a handgun and make it safe to shoot. Then we follow with a classroom discussion where the instructor demonstrates the steps that were just detailed in the video for unloading and loading the gun using dummy training rounds. On the hands-on instruction, the instructor leads trainees through the steps of unloading and then loading semi-auto handguns. They're assisted by mentors who also help them with the details. Go ahead and with your 
shooting hand, pick it up, pick up any gun of your choosing. No, not that one. No, that one's fine. <laughs> okay, go, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, go ahead and hold it like, like you would normal index. Very good grip. Everybody looks good. All right, first thing we need to do is remove the magazine from the magazine well. There should be a button over on the left hand side somewhere. Usually it's right behind the trigger guard. Push in on that. The magazine may take a little bit to get it out or it may drop right out. Everyone remove the magazine? All right, what's the next step? We've, we've got to get the round out of the chamber. So let's go ahead and cycle that slide. Okay, we did it once. Like I said before, what we want to do is, you know, sometimes when you're at the range, there's a lot of stuff going around. We want to make sure it's out of there, so we ask you to do it a couple of times. When you grab this, go ahead and rotate your hand around. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Okay. All right. So go ahead and stay. Everybody stay where you're at. If you have a little difficulty, I'm going to show the this glue gun here. If you have difficulty when you're doing it like this, keep your gun pointed down range. Rotate your body. You get a lot better leverage this way than you do this way. Okay? Just make sure the gun's pointed down range when you do it. Yep. Does it matter Move. if you're like this or like this? Uh, keep keep it upright. You're gonna okay. it's gonna be a lot easier. Nope. Rotate, right over rotate your hand the other way. Cup your fingers over on top. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead and rack it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Do it a couple of times. All right, all right. We're pretty sure there's nothing in the chamber at this point. So let's go ahead and point the range, point the gun down range. Put your finger on the trigger and press the trigger and you should hear it All right, now, if you would, show the person behind you that the gun is safe. Make sure you show that your indexing. My safety on you're indexing, there's no magazine in, and you've demonstrated that there's nothing in the chamber. All right? At this point, well, we just reset the action. So go ahead and point down range again and press the trigger. All right. Gun is perfectly safe. So at this point, go ahead and set those perfectly safe guns down on the table. Okay, go ahead and set the, the gun down on the table. Now, you should have a magazine in front of you and a dummy training round. Next thing we want to do, make it ready to shoot. So, we're going to have you reload. So, best thing is, remember, set that thing down on the table so you have something firm. Hold it like this right here. So, this is my non-shooting hand, like I'm going to punch it like that, right? down on the table, put your thumb right there on the back. That helps push that round down with the other round, put the back end of the round on the bullet side of it, push down and shove backwards toward you. Yeah. 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 This is the trouble gun right here. It sure is. <laughs> So the, tri the, the, the tricky part is, is getting the back of the round ahead of up here on the case and not here because you're probably getting it caught up on the, on the uh, metal part of the, the training round. And you actually use that round to shove it down. So you're pushing down with your thumb and perfect. All right. All right. We've got a freshly loaded magazine. Next thing we're going to do is pick it up. Go ahead and pick up your gun. Okay, everybody's properly indexed. I love it. Grab the magazine in your non shooting hand. Go ahead and put it in the mag well. Put it in the gun. Now go ahead and slap it. We know it's well seated. Next thing we're going to do is chamber it. And when we chamber it, how do we grab the, uh, grab the slides? Go to the top like this, push forward and pull back. Awesome. If it's got a safety on it, go ahead and engage the safety. Most of these don't. 
Actually, the one on the end, there's a little lever, a long lever on the side. It's the middle. Okay. Everyone else, go ahead and set your guns down. Go ahead, go ahead and set it down. There is no safety on that one. And the one on the end, did we do the decon? I don't know what I just did. Is that e-commerce? Okay, all right, it's, it's good. Segment four starts with playing the training video, how to hold, aim, and dry fire a handgun. The classroom discussion has the instructor demonstrating the 12 step basic dry fire exercise that was detailed in the video. The hands-on instruction leads off with the instructor leading trainees through the same dry fire exercise using semi-auto handguns. This segment also includes learning on how to get off the X. You can stand here all day long. When some of our instructors just drone on and on, you'll appreciate the ready position because the gun gets heavy after a while otherwise. All right. So at the ready position, we're here. So when we go out using our finger guns, go ahead and point straight out using your finger guns. Here's what we know if you've got a good shooting stance or not. Okay, how many people are not pushing backwards, right? Okay, so it didn't take much for me to push it back. So what I want you to do, instead of standing up right like this, lean forward a little bit. So don't, don't move anything down here, just bend over, just slightly. So when you do that, if you do it just right, you, you'll have a lot better position for, to take up that, you know, that recoil when the gun goes off. Feel good? Yeah. Okay, all right. Go ahead and put your, uh, your uh, finger guns away. <laughs> Unload them first. <laughs> and uh, let's get five people up to the table. And we are going to go through the 12 step. Can I give you an intro? Yes. Yes, okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and go through the 12 step dry fire shooting exercise. Uh, we'll do this one at a time. So I'm going to try something here. I verified that none of these guns have magazine disconnect, so they will all operate without the magazines in them. I'm going to simplify it a little bit. We're not going to use the magazines in this, in this case. All right. So go ahead and pick up the gun of your choosing. I will stand out of the way here. All right. First thing you're going to do, you'll see all of the slides are locked back in this case. So I want you to go ahead and rack the slide like you did previously. Grab a hand over the top, pull back, and let go. This is hard. I have a suggestion. <laughs> Use a different gun. <laughs> there we go. All right. See, I push down to that. Okay. So every, everybody's got the slide one, please. It doesn't matter, I guess. All right. So the next thing is get a proper grip. Okay, for a proper grip, here's what we want to see. We want to see, you, you see how there's this sort of rounded part here at the back of the gun? I want to see your hand as high as possible on that. Not on top of it. I don't want to see any gap down here. It should just be up so the web of your hand is sitting underneath there. So up a little higher. There you go. Looks good for everybody. All right. Now, why do we not want it up any higher than that? When that slide comes back, you'll only do this once. Because <laughs> it'll come back and give you a nice little couple of bloody marks there. All right, so that's the basic grip. Um, now get in your basic shooting stance. Everybody's already practiced your basic shooting stance. All right? Uh, right foot should be back a little bit, angled back a little, little ways. All right, we've got a good shooting stance. All right. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Is that good? Okay. Yeah. Here. Right there, right there. All right. So when we're on with a good grip. We should still be indexed at this point. You would have wrapped that hand around the front 
of the uh, other right. hand. So you got your hands on top of each other. That looks pretty good. Your thumb should be on top of each other like this. Now, depending on the size of the gun and the size of the grip, you know, your thumbs may be in different places, but generally you want them to look something like that. Another way to think about this, when my hand is off here, there's all of this space where there's space. You want to put this part of your hand right on that space. Fingers wrapped around there. So you've got as much hand on the gun as possible. All right, everybody got a good grip. Looks really good from this angle. All right, so let's go ahead and start at the low ready position. We're down about 45 degree angle. We, and we say low ready, 45 degree angle, that means it's not pointing at anything uh, in particular, but the ground down here. All right, go ahead and get your eye on the target. Everybody look at a number two. All right, we're looking at number two. Go ahead and push the gun toward the target and raise it into your line of sight. That is actually two steps, okay? Do you still have your good stance? Are you leaning forward a little bit? There we go, that's what we wanna see. All right, focus on the front sight. Your front sight post should be in between the rear two, equal amount of light, they should be lined up. Front sight should be clear, everything else should be slightly blurry. At this point, go ahead and transition your finger onto the trigger and slowly press the trigger until it goes click. I can't, I can't reach it. Go ahead and put your, I think your finger's in behind the trigger. <laughs> Definitely didn't hit my target. Go ahead and press the trigger and go to low ready position. You don't want to be here. So um, ultimately, a thread is shooting at you. Start moving. So what we do in our uh, classes a lot is practice. If you're on a line, you can't run to the nearest thing. You know, run hide behind a truck, run behind your bike. No, don't use your buddy as cover. Uh, run behind something. We, we just simulate that by taking a step. So that's all we're going to do today. We're going to get off the X. So when we when we get ready to take our shot, we're going to get off the X and get on target. Okay, so otherwise it's exactly like what you just did. So well, I'm gonna stand down here and go ahead and pick up your guns. Can you tell us left or right so we don't run yes. in? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right, go ahead and set the action if it uh, was not already set. I know. <laughs> it's All right, low ready position. All right, when I say go, you're going to take one step toward me as you're bringing the gun up on target toward the blue one and fire. So are we, does it matter which target, blue one? No, so. no, just whatever one is in front of you, that's <laughs> okay. fine. Okay. All right, any questions? Shooter's ready, go. Step, there you go. Okay. All right, go ahead and reset your action. Y'all are good. Y'all can take a step just a little bit closer toward me because now we're going to go to the left. To the right. To the right. To the other left. To my left. The other left. I am so directionally challenged. If it doesn't sound right, let me know. If you can step forward so everybody's more or less on the same line. Yes. Perfect. All right. All right. Same thing to to the right this time. Shooter's ready. Go. At number one, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I was just picking the number. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure you're spaced out a bit, but move back down so you all have plenty of room between you. All right, and Colleen, if you can move this way, all right. So go ahead. in those circumstances, you might yeah. have your right foot in front. You know, you might change your stance a bit. Yeah. Okay. You probably shouldn't. But. So go ahead and set your guns down. That's a very good question. So all I did was tell you all to move. So in this case, if I'm standing up like this and, and I'm saying move to the left, take a step like that. That's, that's all I want you to do in this case. If you're moving to the right, step one, two. It's one step. That's all I want you to do. One step. One, one. 
decent stri stride, you know, okay. not, not a baby step, don't jump over yeah. not, not the person next to you. Yeah. Yeah. Segment five starts with playing the training video, how to live fire a handgun at the range. Then in the classroom discussion, we ask, what's the difference between the 12 step dry fire exercise and 12 step live fire exercise? Well, the answer is using live ammunition. Segment six starts with playing the training video, how to present a handgun from the holster. Then we go into the classroom discussion where the instructor demonstrates the five-step basic holster exercise. This is followed by a hands-on instruction where the instructor leads and guides the trainees to learning how to draw from the holster using the CERT laser training pistols. Segment includes several exercises, getting off the X, turn and shoot, and assessing for additional threats. So why do we include these exercises? Well, it gives them an idea of what they're going to expect when they someday join one of our live fire events in the tactical base. If you just sort of, you know, 
you, you, you sort of fumble around. So it, it'll take a little practice to do it right the first time, but it should be assertive both. Slap and hand goes down. Okay, go ahead and do that. You're on one. Looks good. Stay in one. Step two, gun, gun comes straight up out of the muscle. All right, go ahead and look down range. Step three, your gun rotates, pointed at the target. Your gun should be over the holster. Yeah, over oh, the holster, oh, oh, way up here. but pointed That's at two. the target. That's three. Yeah. So I mean, ground should kind of be a trigger, I mean, an index finger. You should still be indexed, absolutely indexed at this point. Unless there's a threat, I mean, stay indexed. I mean, right at step one of the graph should already be indexed. You're indexed all the way until you're at the end. Step four is when you start moving, okay, now go ahead and look at me. <laughs> start moving the hands toward each other and pushing out toward the target. And then at five, you're basically on target, you have your finger on the trigger, and you press the trigger. Okay, step four. Step four, you bring the gun back, and you're somewhere around here and you peel off the hand and back to step three. Now at step three, the gun should still be pointing down range. We are indexed, we are pointing down range at step three. Right, point down. Pointed at the target, I'm sorry, okay. down range at the target, okay. down range. When we're in the range, that's the down position. range. <laughs> step two, rotate the gun, so it's pointed down toward the holster, and step one, go ahead and reel. Step to the left this time. Mm -hmm. And then we'll shoot no hook and poke and ball. We're going to do all of those steps. So it looks something like this. When I say go, we will get off the X as we're doing one. Okay? It looks like this. Okay. After that, everything else is just like you did. So it looks something like this. We're going to do this at your pace, except for when I say go, everybody needs to take a step because the person next to you is going to run over you. Right. Any questions what we're doing? We're taking one step to the left as we're in position one. After that, you're stopped and you go through the rest of the drill at your pace. Shooter's ready. Go. Guess where your finger is. Yeah. Oh. All right, you put it that very good. Point. Point. <laughs> Make sure you've got a good grip okay. because unfortunately, I, I know it's a lot of stuff, yeah, but the thing that happened this time is like this. Your thumb is right here, you have to pull the trigger. I know. You're going to remove it because I do the same thing. Yeah, and I have to react to it. You can get all the steps. So let's shift down just so we've got plenty of room because we're going to do the same thing and come back this way. Okay. You don't have to do it robotically as long as you get all of those steps in, but think about every position you're going in. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. On one, we're going to be doing one as we take that step. We're, we're doing this. All right. So, so we've got hand, hand, and foot. All right. Well, that's happening at the same time. So one, and then two, three, four, five. At your pace. You're coming to the right, my right. For some reason, I feel like that way, that I'm not it's hard. Have the because I'm right-handed. I don't have to do right all of this. Thing, you always leave with right the outside just foot. Move over okay. Grab it. Shoot. Just as you're walking. And, 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 and yeah. when you're in that stance, and then do it all. Yeah. You know, just just move move that foot into the place it's got to be, right? You want that foot to be back when you're moving to the right? Go ahead and move it at that angle. I think I see, I don't know what I did. Well, yeah, it's two, it's, it's two things. Both feet. Don't, don't do this, because that's not really getting off the X. That's, like, you're sort of thinking about it. Okay. All right. 
Do you all understand the drill? No questions. Okay, shooter's ready. Go. That's it. You're, you're doing fine. Go ahead and go through the next step. Four. Make sure you got it. There you go. Good grip. Perfect. Okay. When I call threat, that means there's something bad happening behind you. You need to turn around, then draw your gun. Go through the five steps on the holster draw. And when after you shot, just go to low ready. You don't have to reholster. Just go back to low ready. Low ready, remember, is, is down here. Okay, it'll look like this. Threat! Bam! Low ready, go. Okay, sorry. Y'all no, no, understand the drill. I'll, I'll call. I'll call threat. Yeah. I'll call threat. You'll turn around, <coughs> then draw your holster. Go through the five-step holster draw. Get on target. Take your shot. Go to low ready. So you don't do this as you're turning. I'm not. No. No. And I'll tell you why afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Shooter's ready. <laughs> you can do this at your own pace. There's no rush on this. <coughs> threat. Fingers was I holding up? I don't know. I didn't 
the whole point of doing the assessment. You look around, you need to understand what's going on behind you. I look at your fingers. 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 All right. Same drill. Shooter's ready. Three. Why is your gun out? There is no three on that target. Oh, that's true. Oh, I didn't notice that. There is no three on that target. Yeah, I was like, oh, you, just ran, you just brandished the weapon. All right. All right. Get, get, we'll, get back, we'll get back to the same drill. I'll call out four or six. And then make sure after you shoot the threat, go to low ready position and assess. Shooter's ready. Four. Where's your finger? You should be a low ready position. <laughs> So why are we so strongly committed to training beginners? Firearm sales are setting records. Responsible gun owners need to be trained. The Second Amendment guarantees us the right to defend ourselves, and our founders anticipated that someday we might need to defend ourselves against tyranny. By training beginners, our gun club is contributing in our own small way. Helping new gun owners learn to shoot is the best way to help them defend themselves, their families, and their loved ones against threats in their neighborhood. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the range.